Oh my goodness, this guy is insane, dude. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Undead Unlock episode 20 called Ano Un. If you like Undead Unlock, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this. 2020. All oh, right, to Stanley Park, right? They were supposed to go all the way. Let me just turn that down. Oh, they're fighting someone. What is this? Oh my gosh. They're fighting Autumn. And there's that person in like the, the rabbit onesie. But I'm betting on charged unlock. Get away, Fuku. <gasps> she got sliced. Oh my gosh. Bro, what is this? The future I know. So this is obviously Ano Sensei, right? So basically they found Autumn. Because remember... That's one of the the people they're supposed to kill. And Under was obviously there. We saw Rip. And they were busy going to, to battle. And then it looks like Autumn like sliced Fuko's neck. Because it looked like it had those leaves. Like Autumn in the fall or whatever they say. Damn, but that... That's one way to get the episode going. So that's what I was saying the last time. They they calling her like this is something that they're trying to do. But I I'm convinced that Anu Sensei already knew this was happening. This was going to happen. This is why she invited them over. Because look, there's Andy on the wall, there's Fuko on the floor. Both of you together. Crazy. So that's what I mean. Because, damn. To you from me, oh yeah, that's the, the manga that she writes, that Anu Sensei writes. So here we go, off to Canada. But damn, that, obviously this is going to be prior to her getting his throat cut but man and i bet you they're gonna end the episode with her getting sliced like that oh that steak looks good they know about us exactly not only that it can take roughly nine hours to fly to canada on a passenger plane oh so she knows that they can get there quicker than normal people. Um, it's definitely going to be interesting because... What I'm saying is it's definitely going to be interesting because... It's almost like she's similar to Juiz. <gasps> so here's the first sign of it's autumn. Wow. December 5th. Stanley Park. Wow. Oh, and in that section... Remember that's how Spoil was? Like he only had that area like rotting essentially. <laughs> Canadian poutine. <laughs> Isn't poutine like similar to, you know, like animal style fries as they always call it? Oh, there she is. Go for the leg first. <laughs> if we're one step behind, we're dead. Oh. 
Maybe it is a guy. I don't know. It sounds like a guy now. That's just my pen name. And his mysterious past. How to defeat God as well. Wow. It's almost like the Oracle from the Matrix. Autumn spawned those things. Oh, so this is what we saw in the beginning. Wow. Crazy. You're going to battle Autumn and find out about yourselves and get stronger. The UMA arc begin. Uh, the UMA Autumn arc begin, I mean. Wow. Wow. Incredible. He can literally just draw anything he wants. But Autumn looked like he had an awesome design. What? Already gone? Maybe, like, none of these things apply to Anu Un. Wow, if you can't utilize your powers. But why is Fuku just running in? Like, think about it. Like, you don't have powers to be able to do that. You know? So, like, why would you rush in first? It just seems like such a dumb thing to do. Like, Andy would go first and you'd work together like that. Like, you can be killed. The whole fight against Spoil was, like, when I really saw the potential of the show. That's when I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be like this. And then obviously against Victor, that just took it to the next level. Oh, so that's Autumn. One of the quest targets. Oh! Oh my god. A book. A book just came out of the guy's forehead. Oh my gosh. So the one who sliced Fuko in the beginning isn't Autumn. Turns people into books and reads them. Oh, wow. Wow, give me a story that's truly interesting. Same strategy as with Burn. Oh, charge up the unlock, enter its body, deal damage. Wow. Parts pull it. You lack ideas. A oh, crimson bullet. Oh, so that's what we saw the the books on his leg. You are both too caught up in the rules. You assume things work in a certain way. Wow. Bro, this guy is insane. Wow, that's Andy's arm, isn't it? Oh my goodness, this guy is insane, dude. Crimson bullet. 
Volcano bullet. Dude, this guy is on, on a different level. Oh my gosh, this guy is crazy. What did he want tap it? Oh, just concussion or something. But he, look how he cracked the armor. Wow. Rip. Oh my gosh. He lost his arm. Just to do that. The training arc. This dude's insane. Like, he just lost his left arm for that one attack. But I mean, if this guy can draw anything he wants to. Why wouldn't he draw a nice place? I still don't trust you. Only lists the bad ending. Kimimosu's Power gap between me and Victor has always bugged me. If he can get as strong as Victor, it would be crazy. Because that's what I've been wondering the whole time. I thought that it was locked away in the memories, which it probably is. Wow, can contact your paws. Wow. This is gonna be interesting. Bro's a locking library. <laughs> Man, look how much. Because that's like, think about how many years that is. Because he's been alive so long. Like, he's literally been alive forever. End. <sighs> wow. Crazy, crazy episode. Really good, actually. We're getting somewhere now. Just, but I mean, one thing that really sort of stumped me was Anu Sensei. Just, I mean, you can't even really put a finger on it. Like, what is his power? We see that he has that pen, which is definitely some sort of artifact. And just the way he drew that whole uh, guillotine contraption and chopped off those spiders' heads. But not just that, something interesting that he said was that, you know, you guys um uh, you stick to the rules too much so basically that's what he's trying to say you guys don't think outside of the box when it comes to the rules and the laws of how things works and he steps outside of the box and you saw i mean there's a lot of stuff that we i mean i can't explain as well like how he's able to just like teleport and how he's able to be in places where you don't even expect him to be there it's just it's a really cool character that we'll see unfold but now we got one of the biggest things that he also said was that, you know, the key is this fight with Autumn, this whole arc. Well, he called it an arc, but I mean, obviously he's just talking in terms of manga. Essentially, what he was also saying was that through this fight, you'll understand yourselves better and become stronger. So now we're already seeing how Andy's going to find out about his past. One of the bigger things that we've been waiting for for a long time now. I mean, and you just see the list of things, memories, I'm guessing. That's his whole story. So, I mean, I, I hope they have some type of tech that can just like almost download everything into him. Yeah, but it did start off crazy. It started with the fight against Autumn. And we saw that Fuku got sliced by the neck. And that was obviously what is going to happen next. And the person that did it, 
I thought that was autumn because they had they literally had like the leaves. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like they had the leaves sort of like blowing in the one direction. Very interesting to see what happens with that. We did see Rip and that other chick that's in the the bunny outfit, the onesie. They appeared there now. It's really gonna be interesting to also see how Fuko is going to be able to, what her ability is going to be, what she's going to be able to find out about her power. And I think it might be able to even direct the unlock to someone without even touching them. That would be insanely powerful. But like, this is the thing that Anu Sensei was saying is that there's ways that you can use your abilities that you're not even thinking about, you know? And just even when he did the... I mean, that thing when he drew Andy's arm and was able to use his ability, even though losing his own left arm. But then he did that volcano bullet and a completely concussed autumn. So it's going to be really interesting to, to actually see what happens with that. But man, really good episode. Can't wait to see how this uh, season plays out to the end. But that's going to be it for me. If you like Undead Unlock, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date because I'm releasing every single day of the week. I'm going to leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.